Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is an application I think a lot of you will find interesting because I've been asked about it for quite some time and actually been looking for something like this. This is a great alternative to iTunes and it's called Wondershare Tunes Go. They were nice enough to reach out to me, tell me about it and sponsor this video. And they're also giving away one copy. So I'll talk more about that at the end of the video and also leave more information in the description below. But this is for Windows or Mac and actually the Windows side actually has a couple more features. I wanted to show it to you on the Mac but I've used it on both and I'll explain that. Let me plug in my iPhone and show you exactly what this does. This is actually a lot better than iTunes in quite a few ways. It comes in at about 50 to $60, depending on what you want. So let me scroll over here and you'll see we have the Tunes Go Suite. There's iOS or Android. So it's better just to go with the suite because it manages both devices. So let's go back over here. We'll go into music. And unlike iTunes, you can actually just drag and drop your music into here. So say I wanted to get rid of some of these and move them to my desktop. It won't delete them from the device, but I can just move them over to my desktop. It will copy them directly off my iPhone and you can actually transfer these between an iPhone and Android device. And I'll show you that in a moment. So we can do that with music. We can drag them back on and just move it over there. Just like you've always pretty much wanted to manage your music. You can do it here. Let's go over to videos. Again, you'll see if I go to music videos, I have some here. I can do the exact same thing. So if I want to move that off, it exports and now I have the M4V video file here and it's the whole thing. So it's pretty simple that way. Also, if I go to photos, I can manage my photos directly in here. So here's a wallpaper I used on one of my videos before I can leave a link to it in the description if you'd like. But if I want to manage the photos again, drag and drop them off, drag and drop them back on. It already is there, but if I want to drag a photo on there, I can do the same thing. I can also export them to any other folder I want as well. If I go into apps, this takes a moment to load, but let me show you this. It's pretty interesting. So here you'll see all of my different applications on my iPhone. I can uninstall them just by hitting the little trash bin here. I can actually install and uninstall and I can export them. If I'm on an older version of iOS 8.3 or older, that was supported with those particular versions. So you can't do that through here unless you're on the older versions. Now here's one thing that I really like. Also, you can see the files. So if I go into the, the D SIM here, DCIM, I can see all of my media files for the camera. You can see downloads, all sorts of things. Once it's loaded, uh, you'll see all sorts of different things. Like I said, we'll go into here. And here's a bunch of images as well and they'll all load my movies and everything that's on my phone is right here. Now in the toolbox is where it gets interesting. I can do a few different things. I can transfer iOS, Android device media and playlist to iTunes. So I can transfer to iTunes. I can transfer from iTunes or I can transfer phone to phone. I can also back up and restore and I can fix an iPod or iOS device that can't be recognized by iTunes. I can make gifs or gifs. And if you're on an Android phone, it has one click root. So let me plug in my pixel XL and I'll show you how this works. So phone transfer is where it gets really interesting. You'll see, I have my iPhone seven plus my Google pixel. We'll hit next. And here's the different files I can transfer. Now, if you're on windows, you get two more options. You get contacts and SMS. So you can transfer those directly. And I actually played around with that before on windows and transferred all of my SMS messages directly onto the Android phone. And it's all there. It's all imported. It's all on the phone. They match and it works just like you would want it to. So let me close that. And like I said, you can back up your device. You can restore your device and you have all of these different options as well. So if I want to back up, I can back up these things directly. And instead of having to back up the operating system, all of that stuff, I can transfer from phone to phone without starting over. So if I have an iPhone, I set it up as new and forgot to move all of my stuff, I can just plug in two iPhones and dump the folders from one to the other. So I did a video quite some time ago on how to transfer from iPhone to iPhone. If you've got an old one and you want to move everything to new using iCloud or iTunes, but this lets you do it after it's set up. And I think that's going to be something that really makes this valuable. Now, like I said, you can do the same thing here. Any connected device shows up here. So if I want to switch over to my, my pixel, I can rebuild or phone to phone transfer. 
And now I can transfer everything from the pixel to the iPhone. So I'll click next and I could transfer the other direction. It's pretty quick and it works really well. So now again, I'm, I'm managing my music on the pixel. Maybe if I go to photos and I want to put this photo here, it instantly moves it over to the Android side. It's just that simple. And I was really impressed with this, this software. And so I thought I'd share it with you. So that's pretty much it. As far as that goes, it's really simple and really great software. And hopefully someday iTunes is to this level, but it's just not right now. And this is a great alternative that has a lot more features and functionality. And I think you'll be really pleased with it if you try it out. They do have a trial, so you can check that out as well. In, instead of actually paying for it right away, you can check it out and see if you like it. If you'd like your chance at actually winning one of these, they're giving away one copy of this software. What you'll need to do is actually follow me on Twitter because that's where I'll announce the winner. But you also need to subscribe to this channel and then leave a comment below letting me know uh, what you'll use this for and maybe you wanna use it to go from Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android. Just let me know in the comments below. It, there's nothing bias here. It's going to be randomly selected. And so no matter how many times you enter, won't matter. I'm going to take one entry for each of you. So one entry and that's all you get. Follow me on Twitter and I'll actually announce the winner there in about a week or so after we, we actually run the contest. So that's Wondershare tunes go a great alternative to iTunes. I'll be using it regularly myself and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.